five Excel shortcuts I wish I knew sooner. To AutoSum, press ELF HUS. To Auto Average, press ELF HUA. To Auto Count, press ELF HUC. To Auto Max, press ELF HUM. To Auto Minimum, press ELF HUI. Like and follow for daily tips. This is why you need to learn Excel? Go to the Data tab. Click Get Data. Choose from other sources and from web. Go to a website and copy the URL. Go back to Excel and paste the URL. Press OK and let the data load. Select the right data table from the list. Press Load. Now you have instant data to manipulate as needed. And you can refresh the data anytime the website updates. Like and follow for daily tips. Does packing for vacation stress you out? Here's something that will make you forever say goodbye to packing anxiety. Change the bag type in column B. Check off items as you pack them. Filter the bag type column to see what you're missing in a particular bag. Grab this packer tracker at the link in our bio. Don't forget to like and follow for daily tips. I caught my boss doing this. So I showed him a faster way. Type out this formula. Type the pipe symbol inside of quotations. Choose the percentage and multiply by 100. Press Enter. Double click the lower right corner of the cell to auto fill down. Change the font to Playbill. Like and follow for daily tips. My boss keeps pressing random dial codes, hoping he'd guess the right numbers. So I told him there was an easier way. Select the lookup value. Then select the column that contains the lookup value. Select the column that contains the result, aka the dial code. Type in not found just in case the lookup value cannot be found. Change the lookup value to something different and the result will automatically update. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop entering data like this. Go to the quick access toolbar. Choose more commands. Switch to all commands. Scroll down and find form. Press add. Click the form button. Tap new and start entering data. Press New again to submit the entries. Repeat for each new row. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't make QR codes manually like this. There's a much faster way. Type this URL inside of quotes. Insert the cell which contains the URL for the QR code here. Wrap the entire formula in an image function. Copy the QR code down to the rest of the cells. Grab your phone and test out the QR codes. Like and follow for daily tips. If you don't like Excel but still want to look cool, then do this. Press Control, Shift, Down, then Control 1. Go to Custom and type this in. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't add up data like this. 
Instead, use the spill operator. Click the first cell and add the spill operator. It's that easy. Like and follow for daily tips. When your boss tells you to fix a messy spreadsheet, and you tell him it could take you all day to fix, but really, all you need to do is this. Press Alt, A, E. Choose Delimited. Check Comma. Press Control A. Then, press Alt HOI. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't highlight individual rows like this. Instead, do this. Format a single row. Double click the Format Painter. Then click any row to apply the same format. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't switch abbreviations manually. Instead, type in this formula. Expression equals the value to switch. Value equals the value to match. Result equals the value to return. Add as many values to switch as you'd like. Like and follow for daily tips. My friend was copying images to Excel like this. I stopped him and showed him a faster, more dynamic way. Copy down as needed. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop splitting data like this. Try this Power Query shortcut instead. From Table, Range. Split by lowercase to uppercase. Close and load. Now your data is split. Like and follow for daily tips. Writing formulas on one line can be messy and difficult to debug. This is how you can make them more readable. Go to the first argument. Then press Alt Enter to insert a line break. Do this with each argument to make long formulas easier to read. Now, if you ever need to debug your formula, you can find what you're looking for much easier. Like and follow for daily tips. Next time someone sends you a spreadsheet with a ton of duplicates, use this video to find and remove them all. Select the entire first column. Then press Alt HLHD to highlight every duplicate. Press Control A. Then press Alt AM to remove the duplicates. Like and follow for daily tips. When you're planning a trip abroad but don't know the foreign language, use this video to study common phrases you may need to know. First, enter this function to detect the foreign language code. Then, enter this formula to translate a phrase from the foreign language to your primary language. Now you're ready for your next trip abroad? Like and follow for daily tips. Stop stacking data together this way. Try this instead. Select each of the data tables that need combined.
Now everything is joined together in one table. Like and follow for daily tips. Select the month cell. Then go to the data tab and choose data validation. Select list and type in every month. Click the new drop down to select January. Type in the year below the month. At the top of the calendar, type in this formula. In the first cell of the calendar, type in this formula. Select the calendar dates. Go to the Home tab. Select Conditional Formatting. Choose New Rule. Enter this formula. Change the format to white font. Now you have a fully functional and dynamic calendar. Like and follow for daily tips. How to create a search bar in one minute. Go to the Developer tab. Insert a text box. Right click and click Properties. Link a cell to the search bar. Enter this formula. Turn off design mode. Like and follow for daily tips. My coworker keeps highlighting shipped items like this. So I showed him a better way. Select the data. Go to Conditional Formatting. Choose New Rule. Enter this formula. Change the format. Boom! Every shipped item is now highlighted. Like and follow for daily tips. How to V look up in seconds. Look up value is the name. Table array is the range that contains the names and phone numbers. The names must be in the leftmost column. Press F for to lock the range. Column index number is the column number of the result. Type false for an exact match. Drag down to autofill the rest of the phone numbers. Like and follow for daily tips. Here's a must know Excel formula. Type in X lookup. Click the lookup value. Select the column that contains all lookup values. Press F for to lock the range. Select the column that contains values to return. Press F for to lock this range too. Double click to auto fill down. Like and follow for daily tips. Press Ctrl A to select all. Go to the insert tab. Select pivot table from table, range. Choose new or existing worksheet. Drag the fields you want to analyze into the rows and values areas below. Right click the headers to change how the values are summarized. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop removing blank rows manually. Press Alt and F11. Insert a new module. Type in this code.
Press play to run the code. Bam! No more blanks. My lazy boss added flags to our spreadsheet like this. So I showed him this. Like and follow for daily tips. My boss thought I was splitting CSV data like this. But I was actually doing this. Like and follow for daily tips. The power just went out before I saved my workbook. Here's how I recovered all of my unsaved work. Go to File. Click Info. Tap Manage Workbook. Choose Recover Unsaved Workbooks. Open your unsaved workbook. Don't forget to save it this time. Like and follow for daily tips. 10 common Excel errors and what they mean. Make sure you study this list. Save this video for future reference. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't filter data like this anymore. There's another way. Type in filter. Select the data. Select the totals column. Set greater than and select a cell with a number in it. Change the number and watch the filtered data automatically update. How cool is that? Like and follow for daily tips.